All right, word has it we are in uh, for a fourth wave of COVID-19. This is as scientists worldwide track a new variant of the virus spreading in the UK. And it's said to be a subtype of the Delta variant and could be 10% more infectious. Now, for more on this, I'm joined by Professor Jeffrey Mbachlele, a Deputy Vice Chancellor for Research and Innovation at Northwest uh, University. Uh, Professor Jeffrey uh, from the Northwest University, please tell me um, this UK variant, should we as South Africa be concerned? And also, it's, I know it's called the Delta Plus, which means it's about 10% more infectious uh, than the. Than the Delta variant that we do know, but should we as South Africa be concerned? Should we as the rest of the world be very concerned about this new variant? Uh, first of all, good morning and thanks for having me. So we should not be overly concerned uh, at this stage, uh, but it's very important that we need to know and, um, and monitor uh, this um, new variation um, or a new version of the Delta virus. Uh, because, um, uh, the, the, I mean, the way to describe it at the moment um, is, uh, is uh, it belongs to the sub-lineage of the Delta virus, um, scientifically speaking. Uh, but in a layman's uh, term, uh, one can say that um, it's another version of the Delta virus. So obviously, um, it's catching attention because uh, we know that uh, the Delta virus itself is more transmissible. So we don't need another version of the Delta virus that is even more transmissible uh, than the original Delta virus. So it's been detected uh, in UK and the US um, uh, for the last uh, two, three months. Uh, it hasn't seemed to have uh, gained more momentum um, in terms of spread in the community, uh, but it's very, very important that we keep it uh, under the radar. Uh, because um, the estimate is that um, it seems to be more transmissible than the original uh, Delta virus, um, 10 to 15 percent more transmissible. Just to make a comparison, uh, the, the Delta virus in terms of transmissibility uh, compared to the Alpha, uh, to the alpha virus um, is, more, is, is around 55 uh, percent more transmissible. Um, so you can see that uh, this one if it's just uh, 10 to 15 percent more transmissible, um, it's definitely something that um, is worrisome. Uh, but at the moment, uh, because um, of the current uh, prevalence and the fact that it hasn't really spread um, um, in the community in the last two to three months in the way that the original Delta virus did, um, then for now it's just for noting and uh, to keep on monitoring it. So we do know that it is a lot more transmissible and it is now, you know, a big concern in the UK. Uh, but do you think then the UK's relaxation of re uh, COVID-19 rest restrictions could have been maybe the cause of this Delta variant, also now uh, the mutations from it? Well, we, we can say um, is that relaxation of restrictions um, as such. Uh, but we know that um, viruses um, uh, keep on changing uh, their genetic makeup all the time. And um, it's just that um, the Delta virus um, is uh, prevalent um, all over the world. Uh, if you look at um, the number of uh, uh, sequenced uh, viruses globally, you'll find that uh, in most countries, 80% of these viruses uh, comprise of the Delta virus. And uh, it's also the case in South Africa. So uh, it means that if there is any variation that has to occur, most likely the variation will occur uh, in, with the Delta virus because it's more prevalent uh, in any community. All right. But that said, yeah. obviously um, the UK um, has celebrated early. Um, success uh, of um, you know COVID nineteen. Sorry, yes, unfortunately, unfortunately, we have limited time, but I have to ask you this last question: Are the vaccines that we are currently using effective against this new variant? Very shortly. Um, the vaccines that uh, we have, um, they should be uh, effective against uh, the current um, uh, uh, version of the Delta virus. Um, there's no reason uh, why they should not be effective. 
All right. Thank you so much. That's all we needed to know, I guess. Professor Jeffrey Mpatlele from the Northwest University, thank you so much for joining me this morning talking about the Delta Plus or the new Delta variant.